Hi there, today we're going to generate some really simple reports here uh, using Microsoft Access 2007. So let me close this. So we've got a table here. It's called uh, Vehicle Info. I've also got uh, a few queries that I've generated. Um, what if uh, my manager comes to me and he says, you know what, I need a report that I can have in my hands, you know, it's printed out, that has all this information in it. Well, uh, there's a really uh, easy to use report generation tool here in uh, Microsoft Access. So let's say they want the informa all the information from Vehicle Info. Let's go to Create, then we go to the Report group, and you've got this Report Wizard right here. So let's click on Report Wizard. And this will come up. It'll ask you, okay, which, uh, you know, what what is the information that you're trying to pull from? Is it from the table or from the, these queries? So let's say it's from this table. So let's say available fields, we want them all. We want to bring them all into our report. Let's go to Next. And uh, do you want to add any grouping levels? Don't worry about this. Let's just go to Next. You can sort records by up to four fields. So let's sort them by, uh, let's say, the last name. We can do descending or ascending. Let's do them in ascending order. Let's go to next. Layout, columnar, uh, tabular, or justified. I I have found that tabular usually works best. And since we're dealing with uh, multiple uh, columns here, let's do landscape. Hopefully, it'll fit uh, better on our uh, on our piece of paper. And then right here, where it says adjust the field width, so all fields fit on a page. This is usually a good idea to go always, go ahead and always check that. So let's go to next. This right here uh, gives you a few options to choose from uh, as far as how the uh, the style that you want to choose for what your uh, report's going to look like. I am going to choose Oriel. And let's go to Next. So what title do you want for your report? I'm going to call this um, Report 1. And let's go ahead and click on pre Preview the Report. Let's, so let's go to Finish. And this will bring up the print preview window of what uh, the report will look like. So here it is. It's going to say report one. And uh, if we want to click on two pages to just kind of see what it's going to look like right there, let's go to one page. Um, let me go ahead and maximize this. So here's our report. Uh, if I want to edit this, sometimes um, it all will, will not fit on one page or the numbers will be. Uh, you know, they'll show up as X's or pound symbols because there's not enough space. You might have to come in here and, and modify the report. So to do that, you can close the print preview window, and then this will open up. Let's say uh, we needed more space for our sticker tab. So you can come over here, click on sticker, and just move this out. And then we can go back to our print preview. So we go to view, go to print preview right here. And let's go ahead and click on one page. So notice sticker has been moved out to the side a little bit more. Let's go back and modify. Um, let's say license plate number. I don't like the way that that looks. Let's say I want, uh, I just want to put license plate on there instead of license plate number. I can close this. And I can come back over here. I'm going to move this out to the side. And I can click on this. And I can change license plate number to license plate. And let's go to save. Let's change this back to the print preview. And let's go to one page. And notice now it just says license plate. If you're not satisfied with uh, the way that this looks, because uh, I chose the Oriel style, you can close the print preview window. You can go to the layout view. And over here in the auto format group for uh, the layout view, you've got this selection for auto format, and you can change this to different styles using the auto format. And let's find a style we like. So I like this one. This looks pretty good. So notice over here, my report has been generated, and uh, and it shows up right over here in report one. So this is a pretty uh, simple way to uh, create a report using Microsoft Access um, 2007.